we can do what we did last um, last time. We had a loss with the Jets, but Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. As we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 Los Angeles Dodgers. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? I'll tell you what, this is one of those pitchers' parks you come in and you go, uh-oh, I could be 0 for 15 if I don't execute. And how do you execute in a pitcher's park? They throw you outside, take that base hit to right field. Don't try to do too much. You do what he gives you, you take what he gives you, and you move on. Hyunjin Ryu is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, he uses both the four seam and the two seam fastball, and what I like about it is the nine and three is nice. To create with both those fastballs. Should be good. Nine and three should probably have been right, first place in the division. Defensive alignment for the Dodgers. Oh, first place in the first division base, might be in the running for a while. You know, one thing I like that he does quite better than any first base in the baseball is crash on the hitter in a bunch situation. He is convicted. He gets all the way in and dares you to swing. Very aggressive. Here's Gerard Dyson. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Leaving off tonight for St. Louis. Center fielder, Gerard Dyson. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. The wind up and the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. Wow. Only the second pitch of the game tonight, and that's called a ball. This looks like it could be very good for the hitters tonight. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, it's better I start with taking pitch. pitches. It looked like he tried a little easier to read his right stuff. There, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away. But he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Oledmus Diaz waits on deck. Hmm. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the That's air back behind Shore. Seager backs up a bit yeah. and takes charge for the first out. I mean, second here tonight. Let me Diaz. And that'll bring up Oledmus Diaz. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level.
Now a ball yeah. lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Puig has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Batting third, first baseman, Matt Carpenter. to deliver here's the first pitch here's a swing and a high pop I'm sure it'll just sit right there for him to grab usually does when I sit computer okay oh, man, the way the off that game just really took all the energy out of me I wasn't like super, super pumped. I'm kind of tired today anyway, but that definitely didn't help. I think it just pissed me off, really. I got a great pitcher on the mound, so to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on, I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. Wow, two in seven innings. That's not the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, as you can see, right. he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plane. I will manage the them. Least. The key, though, is that he has Try to, have to bounce out. back. This is serious. Regular season, I'll just shrug it off like whatever. It's one game. It's 162 playoffs, and it kind of matters. And I'm looking at Randall Gritchett. You know, for a guy his size, he can motor. He can cover the ground in the outfield, and he's got a strong enough arm. You can play him in right, left, or center. All right, Wayno. I need you to pitch like the ace I know you to be. Pitch like this is MLB to show 14. Wayno usually has trouble getting out the first two innings without giving up a run, so I know I have to avoid it. Line towards center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Well, they're having a good night so far. The pitcher threw a scoreless top of the first, and now he leads off with the single. This is the recipe you want. That makes you feel good. Here's Melky Cabrera as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. About His single career line right against away. Wainwright, one for six. It's 11 24, definitely should be over by one o'clock. Squared that one up just a little late. Looks that makes me feel good. Here it comes, 0 and 2. A little bit off the outside, it's 1 and 2. You know, it's 125 for you, yeah. Out there. <laughs> Big Maybe difference. You get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Dyson on the run. He yeah, makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. Partially, I was thinking about starting earlier tomorrow. So I know I'll get my man game in earlier in the day. Maybe if I started streaming, let's say seven, have a little more energy, maybe be able to do a little more. First pitch coming from Wainwright. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. And so I got one in there because I know he's not really expecting that play. That pitch. Around three. Yeah, me, I normally fall asleep around two, so this should be good. There's been a couple of streams I went longer. Oh, when I used to stream at the. Uh, when I started, because I've been streaming for what? Going on over two years. I used to stream from 1 in the morning to 4 in the morning. And now a pitch That's when I used to work 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, now I work it's a ball like 7, strikes. 4, 6, 3, shifts like that. Runner at first here, no one huge difference. Out. Get off work at 11, go to the gym, 
work out, get home by 12.30, be able to cook, shower, and then be ready to stream at 1. Another one sent foul. They'll try again, one, two. Hit on the ground out for short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Got the ground ball he's looking for right there. A hard grounder, but it just wasn't at somebody. If it's at somebody, it's a double play ball. Now he's got to get back to work and maybe get another one. I miss those days sometime. The day, days off are very, very enjoyable. Just being able to sit around and do nothing. Just relax. Sleep in, more importantly. I'm a late night guy, so anytime I get to sleep in, I'm really happy to do that. First and second now. Trying to remember, he had a home run on a cutter low and away. So I think I'll stick a little stay out of that. So, let me see, one's going in. Here's the 0 and 2. Fastball strikes three Great called call. as he couldn't pull the trigger, Oof. and there are two away. And with two Seattle win, bounces now, back with a win, so I guess same thing as the Dodgers. Championship series. Making this entertaining. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. His career line against Wainwright, one for four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. This is the guy they're going to have to Scared the crap out of me. Sub tape, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the NLCS and the dark side. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. I tried to cut it off and he still didn't cut it off. Oh, this is bad. Adrian Gonzalez. Base hit scores two. Any ball to the gap scores three. Obviously, Grand Slam is the fear. Three more, and he's killing MVP season right there. Um, don't start with this, please. It's been a strike so far for both sides. Let's not do that with the bases loaded, please. Now Gonzalez awaits the 1-0. -oh. And a fastball just a bit up. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on 2-0, and oh, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option, but to challenge him right here. Ready with the 2-0. -oh. This is it on the ground to first. Oh, thank is he God. Out of this? He is, as he gets the three unassisted put out, and that ends the inning. Dodgers leave him loaded. We are still scoreless. Uh, so fortunate on that. Thank you, Wayno. Leading off for the Cardinals, the right fielder number 15. 26 in 13 games now. He's gonna have 30 plus. All right, Randy. Into the windup and the pitch. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. A lot of nothing there, Reed. Thirteen, fourteen, nice. 
hit it right up the middle, but it hits him, and of course it goes in a way that it allows me to still be out, though that was not a good swing. First pitch on its way. The fastball here is All right, this sounds stupid now. <laughs> The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Takes a fastball yeah, on the good. inside corner. All right, Comstock, I need you to start doing something because you're at a key part in the lineup. I can't really hide you with lefties. You have to be productive no in the middle of the order. Number two. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Gosh, now I have to think about Wayno. How long is he really going to last in this game? I know it's only the first in the inning, but geez, no second inning, pitch. but um, Swing and a that worries me. Center field. That gets down and he's got Thank you, Reed. Here's Michael Brantley. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and right away. Here's the first pitch to him. Just yeah. does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Yeah, just hurt my head. I'm trying to move this hit my head on that kind of stings. That's a monster season. Oh one, here's the pitch. Ground ball sent back play. up the middle. Scooped up. Person. Over to Gonzalez. And they the to get All right, so the then. Yeah, what is it? Jerko, then Peralta in the third. So at least I feel good about Comstock getting a hit. <laughs> Alright. He'll be in there to start things out against Adam Wainwright. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Ah, Wayno. The pitch. Not close, it's 2 and 0. I don't like this game right now. <laughs> From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose. Well, this is going to make right. things difficult. There, hit a shit ton of extra base hits on me last game, so obviously I can't pitch in the bottom of the strike zone because it's going to be a ball, and I can't pitch in the top because it's going to be a ball, so it kind of limited the pitching in the middle third of the plate where shit gets hammered. Four pitch walk, two of those pitches, definitely strikes. I just hope that they're going to be calling this game like this on both sides the entire game. I'm in the box so I can pitch. Find Alex Smith. Oh yeah, because touchdowns and quarterbacks. From the stretch. Good swing. Just bad pitch. <laughs> well, everything's a bad pitch. It's in the middle of the plate. Can't help it. What am I saying? A runner at first with no outs here. <laughs> Thank you for chasing that pitch. I just need you guys to help expand the strike zone by swinging that stuff on the edge. Cool. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready with another 0-2. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Here's another 0 2. Hit hard on the ground okay. towards second. There is Jerko. One there. On to first to complete the double play. Hey, it's hard to hey. do anything with a pitch like pitcher that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. All right, well, we should be able to get you out. Should. Ryu. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. His first postseason start. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Foul back. 
Bueno is at third. He'll be at 33, 34 pitches after two innings. He should be able to get an out here. Much cleaner second inning. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. All right, on to the third. Striding in, Jed Jerko. He'll stand in to open things Second up here in the third. Jed Jerko. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, sir. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Oh, but that's something definitely off the plate that I don't have to swing at or entertain Wind swinging at. One -oh pitch. pitch swung on and hit in the air. Springer on the run. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. And his hit was in the last game. Four hits in 20 at bats. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. I hope my cause is pitch count, that's for sure. Pitcher number 50, Adam Wainwright. So coming to the plate, Adam Wainwright. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Into the windup and the pitch. And a ball 1-0. Oh. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Oh. And he won't ride at that point either. It's 2-0. Oh. So pitching to the pitcher is not that easy. Sometimes when you face him, a little bit of a letdown. He's in a 2-0 -oh count right now. You got to really focus, I think, more so with the pitcher hitting against you than anybody. From the wind up, the 2 0 pitch. Takes a high I'll live whatever happens in the back. Somebody's just getting the pitch count up. Looking at at least a five pitch at bat. Get him up to 24. We need to get that average um, up into the double digits. As far as pitches per inning seen. Fastball is in there. <laughs> Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinal. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And now is Yasiel Puig. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. And the mic reminded me that I actually need to charge. Its way. So after I said that, I'll move a little closer. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Tapped out in front of home. And the leadoff man in the inning will get <laughs> You hit the ball barely out the front of the oh, whatever. Yasiel Pui getting the bullshit first bases. Give me the bullshit first base. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mikey Cabrera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Vibrating for this there. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit down the third baseline. And that's three for a base hit. Make him one for two in this. Yep, game. because he barely hit the ball in front of the home plate. And that's enough for him to get to first base and then they do a hit and run on a sinker that probably was low, maybe out the zone, and boom, there you go. Yep, low and out the zone and still get a base hit. GG. And they're gonna score. So I highly doubt I'm gonna get a induce a pop up from him. 
more worried about him getting three runs. Especially when you can't get anything up in the zone. Like, I mean, what am I supposed to do? You can't throw anything on the edge of the zone, low or high. It's hard to pitch like that, especially with someone that's supposed to be a sinker ball pitcher. In this case, Ruino is for me. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Yeah. Three and one, two on. Peterson's killing for you. He's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. He's set. Here's the three one. Grounded back up the middle. Just concede one. The second to one. Back to first. So they get the double play, but the one does come in to score. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. And just like that, we are once again losing early on. We were able to bounce back and score. We'll have the, at least we'll have the top of our order up just like them. So we'll see if we can respond. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Please catch the ball. And that's the third out. Now refreshing, the Jets in our league is actually really, the Jets guy is really good. I'll tell him, like, I feel sorry that you have a shit team because you're a really good player. Digging in for his second at bat, Gerard Dyson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number 4, Gerard Dyson. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. That never works. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Now the pitch. Nope. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. He may be down 2-0 and oh after those first yeah, two At least we're getting it right now. That's those nice. Those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. I like that. That's great 2-0 hitting. You're looking for one specific pitch in one specific area. You don't get it, you take it. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. One. One please just walk me. Zone for a ball. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. I wouldn't mind just reaching base. On oh, laziness. Okay. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands a number four. This is only their second base runner of the game uh, after that the earlier Cardinals. hit. Tough to George score Rattler. when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see end. if they can get something going here. I have to look at trying to take second because I need the base. Redmus Diaz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Dyson off for second. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting the first baseman, Matt Carpenter. That was actually really close. I thought he was going to tag. I thought he was going to step on second and get the double play that way. I was just going to be like, damn, I like, still can't catch a break. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball. All right, Matt, you're MVP. I need you to come up with a big at bat, dude. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. I just can't, I just can't bat today. Can't really put anything together. And so many I said the lefties, this is why they don't want to face this game. I want to face the Mets. Rendell Gritchett, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Now a All right, great shit. Got a lot of power, dude. With the runner on home run would be great. Two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate. 
you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. The 1 0 delivery. And he'll try to swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Pitch count is so low too. It's the not helping matters. I'm gonna see this guy for a while. I'm gonna have to do something against him sooner or later. I'm trying to win this game. From the stretch. A wave and a miss, a tip behind a good fastball. He blew that fastball right by him. No strikes in this at that. Here's the one and two delivery. A fastball down near the shoe tops. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another 2 2. And that changeup didn't tempt the right. and misses we'll from count. all three. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. No runs, just one hit. And, and no Comstock has our only hit, so if he were to come up, I, I guess. Started to go around, but it's a <sighs> so pretty good. Anyway, and that will retire the shot. Arch lead one. They trail this one, one to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Yasmani Grandal. We lead things off here in this one-run contest. Into the windup and the pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Five, six, seven. First of all, let's get through this inning. But five, six, seven are due up for me. Comstock, Brantley. And strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Played on the backhand. Throws in time, and that's out number Play one. Diaz. The first baseman, number 23, Adrian Gonzalez. That's a major goal early with him grounding out. Adrian Gonzalez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ground ball sent back and up the middle. The Diaz scoops it up. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. This helps so win right at the beginning the after having two struggle innings. For the two starters. And both guys topping out so far in the low 90s. 93 for one guy, 91 for the other. That first inning for him was brutal. Now in the box, Logan Forsythe reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped right, out of his hand so behind cool. his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch be because four. it'll be important for him. Smoked on the ground. This gives me an hour to play. Oh, sure. Good on time, man. An yeah. yeah, hour to play. I started at like around 10. Season, you talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Don't give up a double. You know that the pitcher is up next. And that'll bring in Rob Segadin. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. One run, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And there's ball one. Here's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Like how he's getting the call on that. I wasn't getting the call earlier in the game. The one and two. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Breaking pitch going away. Fast pitch up and in. Ooh. 
Wainwright comes set. 2 2 on its way home. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Change speed, change all of them. But they're up one to nothing. Leading off for the Cardinals, catcher Reed Comstock. Uh, two base runners do four innings. If we even get anything going this inning, I actually may take out. I mean, Wayno struggled through the first and he gave up three hits. I may take him out because I would have to pinch hit because I got to score. First delivery to him on the way. have to let Lee go. And oh, look inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Not very consistent, huh? Now good. here's the pitch. For me. Check swing, but he held up in time. Twenty-eight. Good check swing on that off-speed pitch. Yeah, he's gonna break the record. I think the Saints with the Saints last he three games. Then. Was able to hold up. Yeah, the, the I know you have the, the Falcons one -one again. I think you have the whole division. Lofted in the air out toward right. They play the Bucks week fifteen. Nope, the Saints week sixteen. I think it's the Panthers seventeen. So yeah. And early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Here's Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Let's go with first, nice. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. That was a pretty good pitch on a pitch he doesn't throw very often, or I should say, hasn't used in this game. That's Nothing for I sure. could really do on that pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Bases are empty, one man out. And it has. And this is fouled at the plate. He's not tired, that's the part that's gonna be a big deal. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because hmm. you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. And a half attempt that time, but they'll say he Every time I feel like I have someone with two strikes, I feel like the ball just sits somewhere in the strike zone, even though I'm not looking for it. Every other time I feel like Slider is way off the plate, that's where I go. But then it's like, well, there's nothing I can do. That's a tip of the cap for the blue. Here's Jed Jerko now. As the first pitch to not hit this guy. For ball one. Not a good thing. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Into his wind up. Here comes the 1 0. Alright, so at least we'll get him to 50 pitches. Get that average up to 10 per inning. This is when you really have Slow to progress is progress. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. A swing and a drive to center field. Please get out. He's <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs> All 
I can go ahead and get Fowler, or I'm sorry, Fowler, and get weak warmed up because I have to take him out. I have to score. Like, Wainwright hasn't pitched bad since, and really the only run that he gave up was because he hits a ball that goes like three feet in front of home plate, and it took him too long, Comstock too long, to get out the catcher spot in order to get the ball. Should have been out. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Back on the hill is Wayne got in front of home plate. Man, maybe, you know, not three feet, but maybe say like maybe ten feet in front of home plate, and it's an easy hit. Taking a sweet time getting the ball and throwing over to first. Like, really now good. Here it comes. Hey. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Well, it finds itself down 0 2, but those are two good That's pitches. That's now. For all trip leads now. off. Obviously, Ryu's going to be in, so I'm going to probably go with the Scotty. I could go with Fowler. Depends, I guess. And not much of an effort there as he'll look at Scotty does have a home run in this series. He's your first down of the inning. The right fielder number 66. Ready now. Yes, he'll Puig. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Random ass ground beef. Wow. Probably woke up super confused. And he lays off confused, laughing. Or just wondering like, what the hell is going on. Curveball, swing and a miss. He's behind in the count, 0 and 2. Well, Matt, they've all seen him at this point, and clearly they're not picking him up much better. Do you see the swing on that pitch right there? Nasty. These are reasons why I kind of want to leave Wayne Owen. Sinker misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. He takes strike Thank three you. called on the pass. I'm getting that call all day. I've been trying to do it. Two away. Two up, two yes, down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Here's Melky Cabrera. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. <laughs> that you did. Uh, dreams are a funny thing. Look, Matt, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hit. Remember enjoying those a lot when I was a kid as I got older. I'm like, eh. I don't even get to have dreams or nightmares anymore. I don't get enough sleep to let those even process. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. <laughs> nice. Wayne right into the windup. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Lifted the other yes, way fans. to left center. After it is Brandon. He makes the catch. All right, match. there we go. What a play on the run to end the inning. A scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright. His club trails one nothing. Two or three a week. Here's Johnny Peralta now. All right, so Peralta. And then debate on Fowler or Piscotti. Uh, or Wainwright if we get a double. Completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left handers begin to stir. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The wind up and the 0 1. I try to get a hold of one of these pitches. Ultimately, that's going to be what's going to get us in this game. He's having a good amount of success here, man, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a about the quantity, but the quality. Guy. Obviously, it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And there's ball two now to Peralta as they fall behind two and one. Tinking the armor a little right now, maybe? And he gets a piece here as this ball is away. Nice. Almost at that magic 300 number. Double. Good job, Johnny. 
You got an arm, but damn it, you better get he there. He into second base with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to the get batter, excited about. 50. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single <sighs> swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. Damn they that. struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of role they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Steven Piscotti is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit the pitcher Wainwright. Steven Piscotti. I almost thought about taking out Peralta and putting Wong in just for speed. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. On the move is Springer. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. <sighs> Number four, Gerard Dyson. Ready once again, Gerard Dyson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. I really like the lefty lefty here. And a serve at the knees. Nothing to again. Hey, you know what I mean? That's what you got it for sure. No matter if, even if things are getting out of hand or losing still, you give them 15 seconds because you just don't know what you can do. It's never now. Here comes the 0-1. Looking at a pitch called a strike. Well, that's two strikes at the knees, and now you find yourself 0-2. I, I tell you, he's throwing the ball so hard. Umpire, low, please. Down low and look for any pitch down. Please be consistent here. How is that a strike? The first pitch has been called a ball for half the fucking game, but that second pitch is a strike? Here comes Ryu 0-2. Here's a swing, and the ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And nobody can get there in time. Base hit. And Melky's throw will not be what in time. Hell? He's in there safely at third. Well, that ball fell in. I thought for sure we'd see the guy coming to the plate. But because of the speed of the outfield and that ball hanging up in there. No, that's because I wasn't sure if it was going to be. And anyway, the game made him retreat to second anyway. able to have the arm strength to maybe throw him out. I have to score here. Now a snap I'm not running. Runners. runners back. No double play, please. Hell, have a wild and pitch. That'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits <laughs> to this point. I think this is my opportunity. If I don't score here, I'm not winning this game. I don't feel. The 0 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Fielded cleanly. <sighs> and That's an ugly RBI, but RBI I don't care. First as the run comes in Falcons the again. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. All right, Matt. Chance, Matt Carpenter. He is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He has speed on second, so a base hit will score him. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ah, it's on low. That's up. You know, you called out a ball just or a strike just to, um, with Dyson on the mound or on the on the mound in the box. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. I mean, you don't have to pitch to him because even though I would prefer that he gets a chance to hit, Gritchick is dangerous against lefties. Ryu now on two and one. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And yes. that is out of here. A two-run shot that gives them the lead. Thank you, Carpenter. The MVP finally get a big a hit with him. To straight away right field. His first homer here in the series. And it gives the Cardinals a... Could not come at a better time. Barely got out to it. It doesn't even matter. Thank you. And that probably is the end of the line for Ryu. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. 
the great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Barely. The right shooter, number 15. Here's Randall Bridget. Bridget. High pop up. <sighs> Settles under it near second. And the inning is over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. On to the bottom of the second. It's now 3 1 St. Louis. Mike Leaf is going to come in. The benefit of having a four-man rotation, I can bring him in whenever I want. He's got the sinker ball. Keep the ball low. Please get the calls. And let's just try to see how long this guy can go. Here's Corey Seager. One for two on his line so far in the game. If I could get through to my lineup, because it would be five, six, seven. You'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Their offense going. Basically, a minimum of two pitches is what I'm kind of, or two pitches. Minimum of two innings is what I'm looking for. Or, sorry, maximum of two innings. And this is fouled back and out of play. This one here is for the second baseman, Jerko. One away. Center fielder number six, George Springer. Digging in to try it again, George Springer, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready, here's the first offering. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Pitch on the way. Swinging a ball Not hits a softly sample. on Not the a ground, sample, but sorry, a foul anyway. ball, one and one. I know he had a change up low and outside. That was the pitch Even he had for a home strike. run. Here's the pitch. He had a Sounds cutter like that was slow corner. and outside in St. Louis that he had a good um, whack at, too. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. To two <laughs> balls and two strikes now. Two and two count, here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. And he's taken <laughs> out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle. I don't make you nervous there because you haven't thrown that pitch the entire at bat. Say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. Don't know if he's sitting what he's sitting on. It worked right there. Looks like that locked him up. I'll take it. Catcher Yasmani Grandal. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. One. one for two in the ball game thus far. Foul tip held on to behind the plate. It's strike two. Oh, if this guy could just come in and give me two shutout innings without any drama, that'd be great. And see if we can tack one on against the bullpen. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Two out, nobody on. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Getting farther and farther away from the plate. You know you don't want to face Gonzalez. So let's just make it easy and just get him out a before you have to do it and then you get the, the shift. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. I gotta commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. This is pulled into right. That's in for a base hit and he's two for three. So Adrian Gonzalez will get a chance to bat here following mm. the two out base hit. This is a great eight pitch at bat. Eight pitches. He saw a lot of pitches. He fouled a couple of off, but he stayed within himself. Here's a fastball. Probably would have been a home run, honestly. He didn't miss it. Got the base hit. One hopper to the wall on the changeup. Here's Adrian now. 
As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. I hope not. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I, I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will three innings, nine outs away from taking a commanding 3-1 lead. One hit through five innings, we get three hits in the sixth, none bigger than Matt Carpenter's two-run home run. Let's check out our game summary to this point. Luis Avilon is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Luis Striding in once again. Five, six, seven. Comstock, Brantley, Jed, Peralta. In case we score, Bowman or Trev. Pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Well, with both starters out now, if, we'll bone, if we don't game, score, it's clearly a bullpen game, but this is why it's so important to have that. Well, let's put it this game, way because you can run into a lot of games like this. Slap hard the opposite. If I don't get to the pitcher spot, he's going to stay in, he's going to pitch two innings, and then I'll figure it out after that. It's inning to inning thing right now, really a batter, batter to batter. Just unlucky that time. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Into the box now, Michael Brantley. Got swing. Now a swing, and he I would be totally happy with a 3-1 win right now. Let's go, Dodgers! The 0-1. Oh, yeah. This ball will be chopped foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0-2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off-speed curveball down in the zone. <laughs> Ready with the 1-2. and two. And a swing this year, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, you never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and you won the battle because of it. All right, Chad. In now, Jed Jerko as the first pitch misses. Almost caught me on that one again. Almost on that. Two in the ball game so far. Nice. Offense is rolling. Defense not doing too bad either. Only allowing six points to the Falcons. That's impressive. They have a lot of weapons. A one and zero delivery. And of course, the big one, that number eleven guy. Pretty good from what I hear. Here he comes on 2 0. Oh. Hmm. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. I was looking for that pitch. For that location, at least. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch.
Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Yeah, that's our number three. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. But they hang on to a three to one lead. Digging in once again, Logan Forsythe. He'll start out the proceedings against Mike Leake as we no get the inning. In Into the windup and the pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. Grounded back up the middle. Diaz Pretty close to where Reed wanted that. No problem. Oh, one. Here, one away. Now batting. Third baseman. Rob Shagavin. Ready for another shot now. Rob Shagavin. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Oh, 16. Wow, that's pretty good. That is pretty damn good. in for a base hit make it a one for three games so far they've left a lot of men on base that have plenty of opportunities and here's another one after a base hit they find themselves with another runner on so they're gonna pinch it again somebody home this inning who is it this time Anderson. will come out and pinch hit here in a big spot number 60 Andrew Cole. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. And there's a sinker that he just spits on. As it is high low. Long, so. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Yeah, don't make that face. I'm always in a strike zone. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Yasiel Puig, who represents the possible go ahead run here, waits in the on deck circle. The 3 1 pitch. Now I just can't get the ball in the strike zone. I'm not trying to walk him. to send him packing pitch on its way swinging a shot back up the middle and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit Ooh, that ball was close right there whizzed right by his ear <laughs> Matt they always say Chuck and Duck well that's an example of it right there and now is Yasiel Puig down the first baseline Taken in by Carpenter, and a step on first himself for the out. Here's Melky Cabrera, and Dan, this could be, be careful here, Sam. Obviously, a base hit is going to likely tie the game. One run in this inning is so important for them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. A big at bat here. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. From the stretch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Second and third, two away. And that's in there as well, 0 and 2. I always get nervous throwing the change up because I feel like if they're waiting on it, it's just nothing but 
anger that's coming if they make contact. Working for the punch out and the offering. A little roller toward the hole. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a good oh. effort as he's able to yeah, stick with it. Son of I'm just happy that you got that ball. Damn, I never find it. The only, only righty that I face, I face Maeda and the closer. That's it. Everything else has been lefties. That sucks. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at bat. It's ball one. And they're going to lead off with Seeger, so I'll bring in a lefty. And I'll probably bring in Bowman after that. Now here it comes. Ball chop foul right but I want to see if I can get a run. We only have four hits. We have not really had a great game at the plate, thankfully. Ready with the one one pitch. They all came in one inning. Over the inside corner. For the most part, three hits in one inning. That's the difference in the game for me. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Grandal has it, and he makes the throw to first. Peralta is retired, and there's one away. Mike Lee. Dexter Fowler will move into the Adam Adams. Try to get something started Cole, here with Adams, Colton, in and Kelly. One righty. I was hoping to bring in a, a lefty. Way late on the late fastball swing. for strike one. I tell you what, right there, Matt, that's a sign of a guy that was sitting on an off-speed pitch. He threw that fastball right by him. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Here's the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the one and one pitch. Yes. And that I thought he was going to hit him in the face at first. Number I thought it would have in the face probably would have been an out. That dude would have been dead. If you read the box score, you would think no way are they leading. Now you win games by scoring runs, not base hits. And they put together a few hits, but they've got a lot of runs with it. Great production. All right. Here's Gerard Dyson. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Go. Off the plate and in. It's a ball in the strike. Look real quick how that bullpen's looking. Only one, and then everybody else is a righty. Good. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one, our score. Whoa! Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Seager <laughs> takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second. All right. It's been the kind of game we've come to expect here at Dodger okay. Stadium over the years. As you check the line oh, score, it's 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 defense, yeah. and not a whole lot of offense to this point. Green Diaz coming up. If he can get on base, I'll get you a good chance to bat again. Well, we'll get a chance to bat again regardless because we're going to go down the ninth, but it'd be nice to get him up with runners on. And here's a ball like hit that. in the air. Gonzalez in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals, and it's still 3 to 1. Mm. Cecil is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth. All right, the eighth inning is what got me last time. You're up 2 1 going into the eighth. We gave up a two run home run to Springer. 
Here's Corey Seager. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Let's see if we can get the job done this time around. The cutter runs outside, ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a little blooper to center. Dyson is going to get there. One away. All right, five outs. Center fielder, number six, George Springer. Here's George Springer. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Matt Bowman answers the call now, looking to get this one on to the ninth inning without any trouble. All right, got what I wanted. Got Seager out. Not going to give Springer a chance to tie the game. But Springer, Grandall, and Gonzalez. See if we can get this done. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series, and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I, I wouldn't mess with him. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped I'm not really trying to try to strike this guy out and not have to see him again this game. That misses one and two. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. And he's able to yeah. this one off foul to the right. No, too the much to play there. And two. Wanted that to drop out. That's all right. It's not really, but wow. here he comes again. One, two, and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. That's back to back breaking nice. balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can do. <coughs> Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. <clears throat> he did struggle hitting sliders away. In St. Louis. Back up the middle. Come on, and right on by the pitcher. And he's got himself a one -out hit. Right. By the pitcher, an inch away from that being right in his glove. They've only driven in one run, but they got a bunch of hits already strung across the scoreboard. Hit him in the foot and just sit there for me. All right. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. So far, two for three in this one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. They're well, team and three. Oh two, but you know what? You looked at the first two pitches, but they're Jeez, different pitches. Great record. Both down, good pitches. Is that pitches. Did, Sometimes that you that enough to get down. you a buy? No, to, definitely enough to get you the division win, division title. Sorry. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. The longer this inning goes, the more dangerous it is, especially if we able to score some runs. We can obviously see the big bats again. Fuck. And that's through for a hit. Well, that's his third hit of the night. And are you surprised? That's three singles. Now six, three, four, and three singles. Not bad night. Now time is crawled, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Waiting, they'll go to their own left hand around of the bullpen. Still only one out. Here's Adrian now. In the dirt. Goes to third with him. And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's... Why would you take your... Man, that is...
is such a wasted opportunity. Why? Why? The ball is right in front of you. It's not like it went feet away. It's right there, and you take your sweet ass time. Oh my god, man! This game is so stupid with that shit. This cost me a run. Then of course that's not a strike. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be like that. Whatever. Doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Too high. And it's 3 0. Logan Forsyth will be next. Unbelievable, man. Ready with the 3 0. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Logan Forsythe. Yeah, and guys, this is clearly one of the bigger at-bats of the ball game so far. Yeah, that base is loaded. They're looking to finally get that clutch hit that's kind of been elusive all day. They've had some hits, but they just haven't hit when it mattered. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Sun Huang takes the mound now, and it appears he's being very as the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Here's the first pitch. Because we're not scoring two runs, so they take the leader or losing again. You're down two right here in the sitting with runners in scoring position. Put the ball in play. He's got to pick up something. Just keep the chain moving. It's a big at bat. Limited in what I can do now because I can't really throw anything breaking away too far because they're going to end up getting the run on a wild pitch. And he missed oh my God! Oh, stop, that stop, stop. Pitch right there. Why? The mound, that's a strike. I want that pitch called the strike. That's one of those that could go either way. <sighs> now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this. I'm going to try to run the ball all day. You ain't kidding about that. Don't even let Aaron have the ball. The more you can limit him, the better. And he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-up. Well executed pitch there. And that'll bring in Rob Segadin. As he'll lay off the slider too low, ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Gonzalez is on first, so any a ball to the gap might not be able to score him. Get in pitch run for him. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Rip down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Make me sweat this one out. Or wipe them on forehead trying to finish this game. Looking to leave him loaded. And he's Thank you. Out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the worst situation for him to come in and he gets the job done. Look like we're trying to choke this one away just like we did game three. evening here in LA as we welcome you back to this production of baseball on MLB Network now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here that could end up being the Number big 46 is ready and he'll take the ball from the manager right, thank you that could honestly end up being the deciding factor in this series Third series, this game. In the, the fact that he came in with the bases loaded, shit situation, and is able to get us out. 
After Bowman shit the bed. Carpenter. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Well, he got ahead of him right there, and I didn't even say he got away with one. Down and into this guy, that's his nitro zone right there. You don't want to float around there very often. <sighs> oh, and one, here it comes. Hit down the line at first. And he'll get to the bag in time. What a good shot. That that Here's Randall Richard. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here it comes. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity yet. So you don't know what you're going to see coming your direction. I sure don't. 0-1 count and the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Swing and there it is. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. I think you have to go Into the home bullpen for a home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the series. And the Cardinals open it up now. It's 4-1. to one. And I'll chuck up on air. That's a huge one. Gives us an extra run to work with. Trying stage a comeback, but one thing that's not coming back is this blast to extend the lead to three. Nice knowing you've got some room for air, especially that's on the road. Huge. Stepping in now, Reed Comstock. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Totally a nice strike there. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. What's the difference? That was closer. Yeah. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Three, try to hold on. He won't be able to. He's got to hold his shoe and you are two away now. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make. The, the check swing appeal, where hitters rarely feel Michael like they went, and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire, but looking at it, it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Here's Michael Brantley. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Set and the 0-1. Seared down the first baseline. Yeah, nice. And Gonzalez will take it over himself. And that'll He's our best reliever. I don't really have to work out the much of a choice. On just a bit, courtesy of this slow home run. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. And this one with the slight Um, if we get in trouble, I guess Trev is going to be the one to pitch. Not that I feel confident box. with that. Kike Hernandez. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. Nine one two. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. Ball one. Well, you credit Adam Wainwright with the victory, barring any late turnaround here. Into his 
wind up. Here comes the 1 0. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. And when you're winning on the road, the last thing you want to do is give the home crowd a reason to get back into it. Well, when you hit the leadoff man, that's exactly what you do. Yes, his career numbers against Cole. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. All right, come on, ho. Nobody out, runner on first. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Not so bad slider, but thankfully he's not swinging on the run. First now with Joey's the kid, what's up? And striding in is the left fielder, Melky Cabrera. <sighs> You're just trying to survive this game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a knee it's been a very, I want to say, it's been a very eventful 18 innings in LA so far. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Hernandez is on his way home. And he can't hang on to the ball here at home plate. And as a result, the run is in the score. But partner, this one will be over yet as the lead has shrunk to just two now as they continue to chip away at this deficit. You get the throw online, and again, my fucking catcher drops the ball. Can't hold on to it. Lose opportunity to get it now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Damn it. Chips sound really good right now. The 0 1. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Everything has to be fucking exciting. Why can't we just have a like normal, just one, two, three, and in the 0 2. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And as Dodger fans have been for years, she is out of here. A two-run blast to straight away right field. His first homer so far in the series, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Into the box now, George Springer. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Ball one. Well, this is pretty first much is the more they forget for him, but he's still out there. And it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A late swing at a slider for a strike. Our bullpen just can't pitch in Los Angeles. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here's the pitch on two and two. 
Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. We know he's probably still thinking about that game time home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. In now, Yosemite Grandal. As he'll take a look at ball one. Three for four so far, and seeing it... Nice really run again, though. I did see that. I was frustrated. Again, that my bullpen is let me down at the worst possible time for the second game in a row. After we had an opportunity to get an out, again, my catcher fails me. And this one finds the corner for strike one. Love the pitch call there. 2-0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the zone? That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. And the pitch on two and one. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. <laughs> Three runs already home here. I really need to win this game. Kershaw's next. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So hold everything as they catch lightning in a bottle here in the bottom of inning number nine and come back to tie this ball game. Tenth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Here's Jed Jerko now. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Second baseman, Jed Jerko. And Jen thinks they're not to work on. They can bring Hill in there. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Sure, sure. Well, I'll tell you what, Matt. This is a tough situation. When you know you had the game won, you blow the lead, well, so and now you're going to stop hitting an extra inning. You just have to regroup. Here we go. Who knows how to start this over goes. and have the confidence you can win it. Chop fouled over towards the dugout. Well, he fouled that break. Yeah, the Seahawks, that's not fun, Mr. Wagner all over the middle of the field. Anything around him is an interception. That was dangerous. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up with that curveball on the pitch before, and that one, they just blew right by him. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And that misses two and two. I guess Adams will pinch it. They saw Peterson on the bench, I think. And he struck him out. Mm. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute They're missile taking, of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Standing in now, Johnny Peralta. To think Jed had high, it's an RBI, or Jed it's had a, um, I'm sorry, Jed Gritchick had a home run. If not, home doesn't hit the home run, we lost again. Ball and no strikes, here it is. And I have no confidence in anyone in my pen to bring in. Two, everyone that I bring in. This is your empty one man out. Cecil wasn't was the only one that has not had a run scored against him. Now the big is, this is makes him swing and miss. And Mike Lee. I mean I can't use him so though. I mean, it's so easy. Um, yeah, Matt. We don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that. I don't know what to especially do. these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Or should I hang up there? Up up I honestly don't know who to bring in, because I guess the option is Rosenthal, and I absolutely have no faith in him to do shit. Nor should I. Matt Adams will get the call to pinch hit here, as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. to the right side 
That gets down, and the inning continues. Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes, and that one Center hung up there, there, a Number mistake. Four. Nice piece Gerard of hitting. Dyson. All right, well, can't go for speed because I only have two guys on my bench. Stepping in now, Gerard Dyson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Dyson, Diaz is on deck, and then Carpenter. The 0-1. In the dirt here. I'm just too slow. Good job keeping it close as the game goes TVs. to one and one. Might be more TDs than I have on offense this entire season in Madden so far. Through 13 games. In tight here and it's two and one. Offense and defense. And special teams. I ran a kick and a pump back. Now the two one. Three and one now. And I think he wanted to know what that one was. Ludmus Diaz would be next. I'm just going to take this pitch. The 3 1 pitch takes a high fastball for a strike. Full count with two outs now, so if he can put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Now the three and two pitch. And here's a and ball hit in the air. Second and Damn it, man. foul territory. Makes the catch and will retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are tied 4-4. Trevor Rosenthal please. comes on to now start the home 10th, and he's just hoping Number to get this one into the 11th Trevor inning. Rosenthal. So striding forward now, Adrian Gonzalez head to head with Trevor Rosenthal. He's got five base hits in 19 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Here comes the 1 0. 1 0 pitch is a circle change. It runs outside 2 0. Now here's the pitch. And that's over 2 and 1. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up a foul ball. See, it's two ahead of the fastball. Like you almost want to not. You want to go with another fastball. But I don't have confidence in him not rocking it, so and sort of speed down ball. doesn't matter. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And a fastball swung on and missed. As he has a fastball, I can blow it by. He's going to have to pitch at least two, possibly three innings for me. And I have two other pitchers unless I bring in. The Reyes would be starting game five. I would have to bring him in if I last that long. I'm kind of screwed right now. Bowman let me down big time. Cecil got the one out, and I took him out. See, Chris got one out. Or could, could be, I'm sorry, he didn't get him out. He walked him. And the changeup is way low. That and then a power, power battle, battle here. Fouled straight back. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. The one two is a breaking ball. Go, they don't ever go when it matters. Two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Ball three. Three and two now. 
be sitting fastball. Bases are empty, one man. And I don't really have a choice but to do it. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces. Hey, wicked. Out of the bullpen. Not no really well, honestly, but we're still in this game. That's back to back pays and he's I was up late in game three and we blew the lead and I was late in game four and we blew the lead. So I'm not too happy right now. Every time they have to have something, they have got it. Whatever it takes for them to win. Game three was terrible. Back to back errors. My guy got a loss by giving up two runs. Neither of them earned and we lose three two and we were up two one. Hit the other way out toward right Thank you, field. Rosenthal. As it in his tracks, and so, the side. this one, we were down. In order. This game we were up 4 1 in the ninth inning with one out. No, no, I'm sorry, I hit the first guy, then I got an out, and yeah, then we end up. My catcher dropped the ball, which would have been out number two, which would have saved a run, and I give up a two run home run to the very next guy, tie again. Up Diaz. And we're running, I'm running out of pitchers, only have two left, I think they have three. Alrighty, so, so that's good. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I gotta find a way to get a hit off this guy. Now there's a change up to start him this is definitely going to be the last one tonight. The way, way I lost game three really irritated me, and this one's not helping much either. But I'm going to have to invest another hour and a half for a game. And it knows how long this game goes, we're already in 11. Whoever loses this game is in bad shape, his bullpens are destroyed. My bullpen's destroyed. Liner toward right center. And there's your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a new off double. You throw a ball down the middle, you better start ducking right when you release it. He took it right back at him. Hit it where it's thrown. Big hit. Here's Matt Carpenter. Oh, wild pitch, but the catcher is able to knock it down. We had to go the other and way. And a nice job keeping it close. Hey, congrats, it's Jay. It's good luck, man. What user does, or on what team does the other user have? Scoring position here with nobody out. Look out, 2-0 oh now. Well, back-to-back -back sliders, and now he finds himself down 2-0. You know, trying to pitch him backwards, that only works if you throw I don't even care if Carpenter gets a hit. I just up. don't want him to get out. I'll take a walk. Loads the bases for two righties. Or, I'm sorry, loads the bases, two righties. Get hard up on base, but manufacturer. And the third, and third. In time, one gun. Broncos got it. Okay, go ahead. He said he traded CJ. Uh, CJ, Digging in and looking for more, Randall Pritchard. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And as you can see, they're in, so I just have to get the ball in the outfield. If I get the ball in the outfield, this should score. You know where he gets it. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, this is one of those situations you don't want him to put a ball in the air. You got to pitch the strikeout right here and get you out of this inning. Don't let him put the ball in play. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. And a pitch out. Oh, don't worry. I am not doing a suicide. I'm not the computer. That shit does not work for me. So thank you for giving me a freebie. I know better. Suicides do not work against the computer. For the computer, money. Against? Hell no. The one and one pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. All right, this is this is the pitch right here. Now the two one. Here's a line drive into score field. It's a base hit. Into score is the runner from third, and they have regained the lead here in game four.
Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself and his teammates are pumped good up. Good shit, Randy. Comstock. Who hasn't really been great. Into the box now. Reed Comstock. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Runners on first with one down. It's a dream offensive line right there. Still. <laughs> Cap's offensive line for me is garbage. And misses Hot with garbage. it one and one. This is a big at bat for Reed right here because Reed just getting Brantley up to bat is important. Again, I, I would love for Jeb to have an opportunity to bat this inning. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Just don't aim for a damn double play. Most other things Ready I'd be to okay deliver with. The one and two. Check swing in the dirt, but he went around. Big B check swings are right there next to Bang Bang Place at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Here's Michael Brantley. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. God, now Rosenthal's going to have opportunities. It's way to your one pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Second down. We'll put this one away. And I don't even know if it's up. Hopefully the bottom of the order. Shit, no. Back where we started. Nine one two. Oh yeah, Fitback basically got it around. So it felt like it. And the Dodgers four. Another chance. Kike Hernandez. Scored the second run. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near All right, the seat. Up That's and speed. Wants to do it you're just a little foul. behind, but you're kind of on it. So we should be able to go low and away with off speed and get you out. And a slider. Or that. Okay. On that one is that's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked Thank like you, it game. was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, yeah, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Yeah, I gotta sure be careful because Puig has time. power. And now is Yasiel Puig. And the first pitch to him is a changeup. We can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Doesn't necessarily have the greatest of eyes. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Oh. Yeah, I can get him to chase. To get him in a situation where chasing is a possibility to get a strikeout. I can do this. One out, nobody on. Hard hit towards center. Dyson is there, two gone. Like talk about hitting into Gotta get Cabrera out because I do not want Seeker to have another opportunity to come up and hit a home run. This is, this is the guy we gotta get. Here's Melky Cabrera. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. He doubled his last time through. Hit back up the middle. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. So that'll extend the inning, and with two away, bring up Corey Seager. That's great hitting right there. We made the right pitch. The ball was down, but the hitter did a great job staying with that. Nice hit.
Here's Corey Seager as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Curry's not a burner, but he's quick enough. Not close. It's 2-0. and oh. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Two out with the man at first. Nope. That's a changeup off the mark, and it's 3-0. and oh. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit and a 3-0 count have changed that. Got to get back to the strike zone right here. He's set. Here's the 3 0. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with a hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seat. Dangerous pitch. But because he has so much power with his pitch. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here's George Springer, head to head with Trevor Rosenthal, 0 for 4. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. This is where I like this guy pitching. First and second, he's got two outs. He's got himself a little bit of a jam, but now he likes to paint the corners. Watch him fight himself out of this situation. A big pass at a slider that gets past him. Looking at the first pitch for a strike, then takes a swing, and now you find yourself down 0-2. He's just got to oh, so know what to out, throw here. Get ready to swing at anything close and make sure you don't get called out on the third strike. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. The hell with lurk time just needs to be in time. Like this stream needs to be over in three minutes. AKA with a win, not a loss. Make them chase it, and you got a chance to strand those runners on base. Misses ball two. Yeah, I think that's the idea, man. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in now. Missing the fucking game. Them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Thank you. Struck him out, so he'll strand a possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Oh, Extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. I'm not even excited. I'm just relieved. After the walk. You just, just missed, like, it wasn't a bad call. You just missed being able to get the ball in the strike zone, or at least close enough on the border for it to be debatable. It just looked like you were going to blow it again. Thanks, Jays. I will see you next time. Last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. Yeah, the big bat that gave us a 3-1 lead, unfortunately, we thought that that would and be it. No better time it's not, big for your team than but that was a huge hit. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big... Well, these will be interesting highlights. I don't even know if it'll be able to go all the way back because the game was so long. <laughs> Like the emotes. <laughs> Bag of memes. So we literally survived this game. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. St. Louis have taken a 3-1 lead in this league championship series. So that'll put a wrap on the game. I've been joking.
at this point I really just survived this game. So now, raise pitches. Warren is my first guy off the out the pen. Lynn is my long reliever if Reyes gets rocked. And then my lefties because they didn't pitch that long. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals. Alright, highlight rule. So we can remember what happened. No errors. They left five men on base. Yeah, runners on the corner, so there's really nothing I could do there. Just take the double play. 14 hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. Puig hit a ball that was went a couple of feet in, oh, in front of uh, home plate, but we, we couldn't get the out. After we tied the game, Carpenter with the two-run home run. That one he missed, and I was going to freak out. But he was able to just get the runner anyway, otherwise it would have been a 3-2 game with a runner on third and first. The bases are loaded. Pitch out of another jam. O came in in the eighth with the bases loaded at one out and was able to get a pop up and a strikeout. Gonzalez rolling back the clock like 50 years to make that play. But Gerchik would make them pay right after into the bullpen. And I was feeling pretty happy here, 4-1, with O already warm and in, thought that would be it. Really, really did. Then this. Double down left, down the left field line. Do the hustle by Brantley, gets there, they throw home, ends up being on time, online, but Comstock couldn't kick the ball, couldn't hold the ball. And then Seeger ends up hitting a two run home run right after, tied again. And of course, you guys saw that. Gritchick coming through. Give us a lead. And a horrible pitch, but because he pitches so fast, you really have to think in advance if you're going to swing. 98 miles per hour is tough to hit. Not a hundred, but it's damn close. <sighs> I'm so right now.